Brian Burke went to a grocery store? Brian Burke seen getting off the subway and blowing his nose? Brian Burke spotted feeding ducks at the pond? Wow. Wait. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Was there a game today? <laughs> A lot of Leafs fans seem to be forgetting that there's still actually games being played with all these Brian Burke rumors going around. The unfortunate part about that is apparently team defense has forgotten too. Burn! Leafs lose 6-3 against the Atlanta Thrashers, and although the game was wide open and largely not pretty on the Leafs' half, there were some interesting stories. Obviously, Ian White and Ilya Kovalchuk were Kovalchuk and the Nucks at each other. And Ian White's out there doing what he's got to do, getting under the Thrasher's best player's skin. Which, and this is why I've criticized Kovalchuk before, is very easy to do. Avery, anyone? What's exciting to me about this is the Thrashers and Leafs play each other three more times. I gotta admit, the Leafs and Thrashers are one of my kind of guilty pleasure rivalries, because if you remember a few years ago, the Leafs and Thrashers were just going at each other all year when they played each other, and this year it could be very similar. Mares and Exelby were out there exchanging knuckles like they were trading cards, and they were trying to collect them all. A lot of people might blame this game on Cujo, and granted, not his best game, but it's difficult to blame the whole thing on Cujo. I can see why people would blame it on him though, and that's just because this whole season, it's been so frustrating that the goalies have had such a hard time stealing a game for the Leafs. Granted, games have been stolen this year, but for some reason it's been by the offense a few times. Comebacks against Boston, comebacks against Montreal, things like that. This year, it seems when a goalie steals a game, the other goalie steals the game more. Valaket in the New York game, Jaguar in the Anaheim game, the Leafs have just had that kind of luck. And Hedberg tonight, yeah, let on a few goals, but man, he made some huge saves. Based on his performance over the last few seasons, and given the fact that Atlanta let on more shots last year than anybody else, I've always looked at Hedberg as kind of a 1A goalie rather than a backup. He's pretty good. Lee Stepniak, on a bright side for the Leafs, played his first game just over 17 minutes and got his first point already with an assist. Not bad. I liked it. And if we're going to talk about first, last game we were ragging on Finger for being a minus three, this game, at least he got his first goal as a Leaf. He now has this many goals. Oh, it's a finger joke. <laughs> it's not funny. On a downer, and this is something the Leafs have kind of bragged about all season, is how backed up they are on defense. Well, now Van Ryan's out. Also, Koliakovo is gone. And Frogren is apparently gone for over a month. I didn't even see that play. What happened? And as I've said before, I would much rather Ian White play as a forward because he just seems to be excelling at it. So let me know what effect will Mike Van Ryan have on this Leafs roster when he comes back. Gonna be Mike Van Awesome. Last point about the game so we can end on a bit of a high note. Stajan got his 20th point yesterday in his 20th game played. What? Really? I mean, you want to talk about a guy that has stepped it up under Ron Wilson. Look no further than Matt Stajan. And even though his buddy Steen's gone, he's still racking him up. Small side note, when he was talking about getting traded, was anyone else annoyed by Carlo Koliakovo saying that Brad Boys was one of his best friends? Brad who? I don't know that name. I'm blocking it from my memory. Ah, la, la, la. In the meantime, Leafs gotta get out of the skid. You gotta get a lucky charm of some sort. Just don't borrow one of Koliakovo's, please.